Quiet. Too quiet. Hey, up here, darling. Well, hello. Fancy a quickie, love? Uh, I think not. And you are? Oh, they call me Apocalypse Barbie. You know, because... Because you look like shit? No, well, yeah. But not just that, you know. It used to be just Barbie or cum bucket. But the way things are these days, well... Why are you the only one about? My pimp you dog won't give me time off. Says he needs some money for special dog biscuits or summit. I see. Yeah, there's a disease going about and everyone should be at home. Yet here I am, waiting for a gentleman to come. And then, waiting for a gentleman to come. <coughs> You dog? Yeah, short for Aloysius Tiny Dick Unionist Dog. He's a bit of an asshole. He sounds like a real fuck muppet. Here he comes now. <coughs> shite, shite, I love to eat shite. Lava Jack, mind the apples and pears, governor. What's going on here then? Nothing, you dog. I've been trying to shag this fella, but he's having none of it. And you? What the lover jack apples and pears blooming heck are you? I. By the way, I eat shite. I love it. <laughs> Canis coprophagus. Mmm, lovely. Dulce et decorum est. Yes, very good. Mm. What are you? Are you some sort of rat? A fat rat? <laughs> Initiating brain scan. <laughs> Oi! What are you doing to him? I have peered into the furthest recesses of this mind. I have understood it in its entirety. I know its every subtlety, and of this one thing I am completely sure. What? What is it? This union dog, indeed every union dog, really likes to eat shite. I could have told you that for free, dearie. Well... I like to eat shite. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, you dog, who's this fella in the window? What's he after? Uh, yeah, right. That would be your next bit of work, love. And he wants this special. You know, with the blue cheese enema thrown in at the end. <coughs> Dulce et decorum est. Very good. Blue cheese enema? Well, as long as he ain't got no virus, I'll get me funnel. Inque tui sadiste, de fifal saxo. This ain't over, freak. I don't think so, mammal. I'm a little teapot. Good evening. I am speaking to you today to address your concerns about the great crises that I am bravely facing. It would appear that there is a virus spreading across the land. The virus of disloyalty. It cannot be tolerated that there are some who do not wish to bend before me and part the rosy cheeks of their humility. We must root them out. We must spank them soundly. My dutiful son Andrew has heroically volunteered to undertake this most onerous of tasks. Subject, of course, to application 
including bikini shot and birth certificate. For this, and his extensive history of servicing teenage girls, he will be awarded the Medallion of the Golden Fiddle, just like his good chum Jimmy. Further to this, I have instructed the Privy Council, which as you know is the team of janitors who clean my bog, to ensure no inconvenient evidence of misdemeanour be found. Charles has fucked off to Scotland to infect the jocks. That'll teach them. That and 300 years of oppression. Ha ha ha. It has also come to my attention that certain members of the cabinet may have contracted some sort of disease. But since those posh boys will stick their dicks in just about anything, that's not surprising. And why should I care anyway? In closing, I would just like to say, fuck you plebs. I have all the money. I don't care if you live or die. Good night and God bless. Oh, what a lovely day. Sun's out, birds are singing. I think I'll give me Ninja Scrub before my next customer. Where's that wire brush? Where is it? I did the cooker with it yesterday. It's got to be here somewhere. Who was that old bag? Oi, don't you disrespect her majesty. Her fat smell like lavender. I love them. I also like to eat shite. Can't get enough of it. Yum, yum, yum. Majesty? What's that, oh shit-eating canine? Oh, that's easy. She is better than everybody else. And by a lot as well. Isn't it great? Love a duck. That wasn't pears. How come? It's God, in it? God. You see, we are just bits of shit, really. But she is the chosen one of God. A smelliest fart is in every way superior to you, to me, to everybody. It's very egalitarian, I'm too. I don't think that's what egalitarian means, you dog. Don't you contradict me, you plastic whore. Get back to scrubbing that minge and maybe you'll get a tasty treat later. Right, oh. He means shite. There is no God. That's just a fairy story for weak-minded morons. There is a God, and I'll prove it. Prove it? How? I will pray for a sign. There's already one up there. Not that kind of sign. Like this. Sectus physium exterminatus interfesit aginum manducari stercuri. Cosa nostra anis horribilis, por favor. Wow. You are not a well individual. Just you, why? Uh. Any minute now, any minute. This is just sad. Any minute now. It's a sign from God. It's a sign from God. It's the end of the world! Oh, help! It's an earthquake. It's a sign from God. It's an earthquake, isn't it? It's a sign from God. It was me! Well, as long as he's British. By my scented minge. Friends, canines, half giraffe, alien, hybrid space worms, I must inform you with some urgency that I must take my leave. You go up there, quick. My wand, it itches. I feel a curse be upon it. I shall seek sanctuary and there wrestle with its evil till the demon seed expelled. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter and the Bucket of Cum. I hope you'll be all right. G'day, everybody. It's me, the Easter Bunny. Hi there, Easter Bunny. Who the fuck is this geezer? Where have you come from? I come from the Committee of Del Art, don't you know? Eh? I felt ignorant of the 16th century Italian professional theatre comedy. I'm not from around here. Popular across Europe till the 18th century. Er. Uh, Pento, masks, 
harlequins and clowns, sketches, tomfoolery and such. You're the egg guy. That's right, love. And what the fuck do you want exactly? Oh well, it's like this. We don't have enough eggs for the kiddies. That's awful. How come is that? Gwyneth Paltrow stuck them all up my muff. Eggs for my head. Run for your life! Someone think of the children! Eggs for my head! Marsh Paul. She's near. Eggs for my head! Eggs for my bed. Eggs for my bed. Must have eggs for my bed. Well, I never. That was a close one. Hey, everyone. It's safe again. Come out. We again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Yeah, those of us who didn't die because of the willful and malicious actions of lying, corrupt and incompetent politicians. They are right bastards and they'll just keep right on doing it. If only there was some sort of moral mathematics that could be applied. But what would I know? I'm just a fictitious character. Hello, plebs. It's me again, your queen. I have come before you today to share a very special message. As you know, ordinary people are struggling at this difficult time. I would just like to reassure you that I am completely unaffected by their plight. I will be fine. After all, there are plenty more plebs where they came from. <laughs> so what if we lose a few poor people? It's not like their faces on a coin, is it? Not like me. So have no fear. It's all caviar and fancy bumboys here in the Windsor household. Or, as we like to say in our native tongue, wir müssen die Juden ausrauten. Before you start calling me anti-Semitic, I should remind you that that term is now solely reserved for those bloody communists who foolishly oppose the great Israeli Zion Nazi experiment. As Uncle Adolf used to say, Shite. Make the lie big, make it simple, keep saying it, and eventually they will believe it. One final thing I will ask of you today, if all of you would be so kind as to dig a hole six feet long and six feet deep and then jump into it. That would be immensely helpful. Good night and a Viga Blamencraft, motherfuckers. Roses are red, violets are blue, and schizophrenic and so am I. Ha <laughs> ha! a bit of a fucking nut. He is risen! Praise be! It's a miracle! Aha, I am. <clears throat> you new dog? Uh, it's all shit. Very good, very good, yes. I feel so blessed. Hmm, shite. Small matter of the bill. Wallet on a pace. No charge for you, sir. Except for the cheese, obviously. Barbie, though, you can have for nothing. The worthless plastic spunk bucket. She's past her best and needs replacing. And you could fuck a muppet. Very good old chaps, yes. I'll just pop you on the old honours list and call it job done. Sir, you dog. Oh, I do like the sound of that. Maybe you could run the... the um, um, uh, maybe you could run the Labour Party. Eh? Oh, do you think I could, sir? Do you think I've got what it takes, sir? Have I really got the intelligence and moral fortitude for such an important task? Well, let me ask you this. Um, do you, you, uh, do you like to eat shit? Oh, I do, sir, I do. I love to eat shit. I just love it. If I could eat your shit, that would just be about the best day ever. Then the job's yours. So you and your dog of the Duchy of Shitsville, leader of Her Majesty's loyal opposition, what? 
What? Yes. <laughs> did someone say Her Majesty? He did, ma'am. Very honoured, ma'am. I hear you are to be honoured with a knighthood today. Uh, yes, ma'am. I eat shite, ma'am. I eat shite. Take it on the chin. What was that? Up the bum? I fucked everything up. Anyway, fucking plebs won't know what hit them. Herd immunity? <laughs> Bloody idiots. Oh, do fuck off, Boris. Uh, Shouldn't you be off denying all your little bastards somewhere? Indeed, ma'am. Uh, uh, they won't deny themselves. Uh, what? Uh, a kerfuffle? Right then. Let's get to it, shall we? Yes, ma'am. I eat shit, ma'am. Are you Aloysius Tiny Dick Unionist Dog ready to take up these sacred duties incumbent upon such members of the ancient imperial order of respectful shit-eating canines? I am your majesty. Then arise, sir you dog. May you never forget who fucking owns you or I'll have your balls in a jam jar on my mantelpiece quicker than you can say Jimmy Savile. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Eat shit, ma'am. Did someone say Jimmy Savile? Bunny! Hello, Barbie. Get out of it, you bloody foreigner. And not a pedo. That should count for something. We have a better class of pedo in this country. And we won't stand for foreign pedos coming here and taking their jobs. Well, I'm Australian. G'day, mate. And again, not a fucking pedo. Well, what are you then? I am an emissary. Of what? Of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Well, you won't find any pedos there. I have my own church, you know. Complete with ornamental hats and jewel-encrusted ceremonial butt plugs. Very impressive. I bring word from the Pope. What's the old fanny dodger want from me? Here is a recorded message. It's me, the Popio. As I had a fun time with the vegetable. And now I has a bambino. Will you please hide a him for me? Thank you, the Queenie. Grazie. Grazie. They call me Alejandro. Since I was born, I have been hidden from the world. The Templars, they wish to kill me, as they killed my friend's father. He died protecting me from these religious madmen. To them, I am an abomination. Since then, I have lived in hiding, forever on the run, hidden from the sun. And your friend? His name is Inigo Montoya, and he will be along shortly. Ma, I can't wait to see where this goes next. So basically, you are saying that you, Alejandro, are the bastard love child of old Dicky Popio and some innocent young serving carrot. Si. Sounds plausible. I've lost count of the number of times my boys have fucked their vegetables. Then you will protect me? Of course, my dear child. You are safe with me. Children are always safe with royalty. That nice fellow Geoffrey used to say that. I wonder what happened to him. Fucking pig? Ah, Geoffrey. Lovely boy. Andrew's chum, isn't he? Yes, I do wonder what happened to him. I'm sure he's fine, ma'am. So, how do we protect this fucking carrot from the Templar assassins? I phoned them already. I am betrayed! The Templar assassin is here. Inego, revenge me! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Leave him alone! He's already dead! <laughs> Fuck! That's the last we'll see of that cunt, Monsignor Udog! Do clean up that ghastly mess! Certainly, Your Majesty. And if you don't mind me asking, what did you get for him? Ten bob, you dog, and a copy of Vera Lynn's infamous sex tape, titled There's White Shit All Over. You're fucking monsters! Come again, rabbit? Sorry, Your Majesty, I misspoke. Far be it from me to criticise, uh, actually, I heard that fella Jeffrey killed himself in prison. No, he fucking didn't. Shut up, you glorified sperm catcher. Oh, how awful. Loss of life, yada yada. Strangled himself to death, he did. Nope. Shut it. 
With his bare hands, no less. He was fucking murdered to protect the likes of her fucking son, the nonsense fucking pervert. You can't prove that. I paid good money, used my regular guy and everything. I get the bulk friends and family discount, you know. Did I say all that out loud? Oh, fuck. I believe you, ma'am. I like to eat shite, ma'am. My granny was a gypsy, and she showed me the old ways. How to keep your minge from catching fire, how to curse a man's willy, and how to summon the dead. I shall summon the ghost of Geoffrey Epstein and see what he has to fucking say. I just need someone to help. All right, Barbie. I'm well up for it, sweet cheeks. Hello. It's that fucking immigrant. What a fuck fucking god that fuckity fraggle rock is that? Where have you been? Oh, I just popped home for a bit. You know how it is. Waiting on packages. And where's that exactly? Somewhere foreign. Hey, how did you get in here anyway? Snuck in, I suppose. Bloody immigrants. Well, not quite. I would often go out for a wiggle on my world. Our day is three of your Earth years, so it's not really equivalent. Every now and then I would stop and admire the scenery. Sometimes I would drop a sick beat and freestyle some rap. Other days, I would be moved to expressions of gentle poetry. But most days, I would simply loosen the sphincters and fart. Fart with all the joy an alien hybrid giraffe space worm can summon. It was a simple life, and I was happy. Then, I found the ship. I don't know from whence it came. I was drawn to it, irresistibly. Once aboard, it took off, and we flew endlessly through space. Until, eventually, it brought me here. Yeah, yeah, that's nice, love. Are you ready, Bunny? Let's do this thing. I have some questions for that cunt. Right then, fellas, let's get supernatural. All right then. I'm wound up tighter than a wallaby's butthole. This better help or I'm on the next flight back to Brisbane. Before we begin, someone needs to cross me minge with silver. You know, for the spirits. Don't you mean your pan, Bobby? You do it your way and I'll do it mine. All right, dearie. Now, everyone must be quiet and concentrate. Oh, spirits, hear me. Hear my plea. I call upon Shogrogoth, demon lord of the lower bastions. Destroyer of sphincters, reaper of socks, servant of Nurgle, I beseech you, come forth! Who dares summon me? Speak! Speak now or suffer my wrath! My giant throbbing wrath! My giant throbbing, quivering, imminent wrath! My giant aching, throbbing, quivering, imminent, preopic! Ah! Fucking hell. Have a cat and cook of that thing. That is fucking scary. Do you need a minute, love? Tissue, maybe? No, thank you. I'm fine. Just a little spent. I don't get many requests these days. I can get a little... excitable. Oh, that's okay, hon. I deal with worse than that on a daily basis, I can tell you. It's nothing to be ashamed of, it's perfectly normal. Even if? Yep. And even? Sure. What about? Oh, definitely. And if there's cheese involved? Well, that costs a little extra, but it's still fine by me. Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. There is one to whom I would speak. Sure. If he's in the darkest pits of hell, I'll have him on my list. Who is it? Jeffrey Epstein. Fucking hell. Oh, him. Sure, I can get him. He's in the anal torture suite right now. They are just finishing him up. There won't be much left of him. At least until his ass grows back. <laughs> really thorough, those guys. 
really dedicated work for us. Christ, that sounds awful. This dedicated workforce of the anal torture suite sounds like the kind of folk you don't want to meet. Fuck. Oh, you'll be fine. You need to have done something really, truly awful to get assigned to the dedicated workforce of the anal torture suite. Phew. Either that or try to claim universal credit. <laughs> Come again, chum. Well, if you get arse-raked by the dedicated workforce of the anal torture suite, you won't be able to sit down. But you will be done and home for tea time. Nevertheless, I can't say I find a suggestion appealing, matey. With universal credit, the arse raping will go on for months. <laughs> then again, fear Zeekham. Maybe there is an upside. Oh, yes. You'll be given the opportunity to put yourself into debt as well. That's sure as fuck not what I'd call bonds of behaviour, mate. What kind of monster would do something like that to other human beings? I could tell you about monsters. <laughs> That's not a knife. This is a knife. Hey, Gaylords, if you're finished swooning over the anal torture suite and its dedicated workforce for some reason, how's about fetching me that prick, Jeffrey fucking kitty fiddler cunt faced Epstein? Yes, yes, of course. I'll get him for you now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey. Do I know you? Yeah, about 15 years ago. You and your chums, remember? One at a time, and then all at once? Remember the Wheel of Holes? Remember that? I think it was fixed. Ah, yes. The Wheel of Holes. Andrew loved the Wheel of Holes. And yes, of course it was fixed. You gotta have the right holes for your client. And that's doubly true for royalty. The wheel of old bastard. I have some questions for you. I was murdered at sea to protect the rich and the powerful. You see, I was the whole guy. I got the holes for them. They would let me know the size, the shape, the age and disposition of their preferred whole time. And I would dance the souls with Train it, lube it up, and present it with a neatly packaged bow. I could get the fresh holes, and so they came to me, to my own fantasy island, where I could make all their whole base fantasies come true. I know exactly which bits of which clients spent, how much time going in and out, and around and about, which holes and how often. So I simply had to die. I had to die. And so they strangled me. Now, I get to spend all my time with the dedicated workforce of the anal torture suite. Except, now it is I on the receiving end. Such tragedy is mine. Does that answer your question? Not really. I just wanted to ask you where my copy of Mein Kampf has ended up. I remember you took it from me, and I never got it back. What the hell, Barbie? Tell me you're not a Nazi. It was me grand's. She took it off the corpse of a dead uber grip and fart and fewer or summit that she just minged to death during the war of Vera Lynn and all that. You know, minged to death. Fair dinkum, Barbie. Thank fuck you're not a Nazi. You know, I do remember that. One of the Jones. I mean, clients. Friends. You know, what you call people you hang around with and take money and favors from in return for providing them with sex slaves. Yeah, friends. One of them, creepy guy, tiny hands, loves piss, kind of stupid, orange, fuck womble, Christmas liar, you know, regular guy. What was his name again? Ronald Cunt. No, Arnold Fuck. Bertold Prick. Jerome. Was it Donald? That's the guy. Oh, fuck me, not that clown. I'm Australian for fuck's sake. I soon have to put up with this shit. What a pal. 
or was one of the best hoes. Had to be the best. Sometimes three, four at a time. God sure loved hoes. Slavic hoes, mostly, I think. But you know, any hoe will do at the RG, as the old saying goes. Then he's got my copy of Mein Kampf, and I want it back. Then, for all the things you know about all the powerful people in this world, this one thing, this one thing above all, this is the thing, the thing that you, everybody, the one thing that, that you, that, that you really need to know, the reason that I, that, that I was murdered, this terrible, terrible, horrible thing is... Is what? Is, is... Is what? What? I can't stand the rain. It's always brought me bad luck. And it was raining harder than I'd ever seen it the day she walked in and turned my life upside down. She had legs till Tuesday and a smile that could melt butter. I should have turned her down flat, but I didn't. I never do. She had just one question. Who killed Jeffrey Epstein? Again. Is that a gun in your pocket? No, it's a penis. Would you like to see it? Not unless you pay me, love. Ten bob and I'll give it a quick tug if you like. I've been down that road. It didn't end well. Well, you probably didn't use the right amount of lube or summit. I like minty fresh Lubaflex 500 myself. You get a discount when you buy the extra large family size handy mega bucket, you see? Well worth it. So, you're a travelling lube seller? Is that it? Is that why you're here? Nah, it's not like that. I need your help. To sell Lubaflex 500? Your detective help. No, I'm Detective Zack. But I catch your drift. You want me to find you some lost lube? No, I need... Pictures of your lube cheating on you. Listen, it's not about lube. Then what? What else could it be? I need to find out who killed Jeffrey Epstein. Didn't he kill himself? Grand, Gypsy, Minge Magic, Shog Rogoth. I brought his ghost back and they killed him again. Who? Ghostbusters? <laughs> I don't know, but they shot him dead. Five times in the head. They shot him dead. He was telling me about my book and who had it. I have subsequently written a letter to the gentleman in question and await his response. My book's worth a few bob and I told him so. In the meanwhile, who shot that nice fella Jeffrey? Oh, the fun we had. He had this thing called the Wheel of Holes, you know. I've heard of it. Now, who else was there when this all happened? Well, let's see. Shog Rogoth was there, but he left. And that funny Australian fella, Easter Bunny, I think he's called. He's one of them furries, I think. He's to their own, far be it from me to criticise. Then I'll need to interview him. Put the screws on, turn the heat up, twist his nipples, boil his scrotum till he talks. They all talk when you boil the scrotum. Mostly just screaming and some sort of gibberish about me being insane. Ha! Huh. Can you believe it? Me, insane. Ha <laughs> ha! Here he comes now. Hello, Bobby. Just the fellow I was hoping to see. G'day, mate. I'm Australian. What can I do for you, Cobba? Fair jinkum. I have just a few questions for you. Alrighty then. Perhaps you would be more comfortable sitting over there. Oh, you don't you, mate? Me old chumba wamba. Fair dinkum. Out back Snickers bar. It's a marathon. I'll just strap you in a little, and then I'll put the kettle on. I do like a cup of tea. Nice and not pleasing. Free sugars. For a guy about to get his scrotum boiled, you're pretty laid back about it. What are you on about? What are you? Are you insane? Fuck me, you're fucking insane. See? Incoherent babbling about me being insane every goddamn time. 
It's like I'm cursed with the knowledge that no matter how long I boil this rabbit's scrotum, I won't get any closer to the truth. What is truth? How would I know it? What can anyone truly say that they know for sure? The only thing I do know is that compared to what there is to know, I know nothing. Jeez, matey. Excuse me for interrupting in, in a monologue, uh, but I do remember something. There was a flash. No, flash is like, like when the gun went off. That's right. I saw them. Flashers. A whole bunch of them. Flash is Bobby for fuck's sake. Sorry. I just got excited and wanted to join in. That's always been my problem. Ahem. Sorry about that, champ. She sure is pretty, though, ain't she? Anyway, as I was saying, I saw something. Just for a second, in one of those flashes, a beast, terrible it was, fangs, slobbering, madness in its eyes, I've seen it all before! Can you name this creature? Yeah, sure I could, mate. I first met him here. Who? He's your pimp Barbie, you jog! That handsome bastard's working for MI5 again. He's an evil cunt. That sir, evil cunt, if you don't mind, you cheap plastic trollop. It was you who murdered the ghost of Jeffrey Epstein. So, what if it was? Her Majesty need but will it, and I will make it so. So you did do it? Oh, yeah, I did it all right. I had to tidy up some loose ends. I'm licensed to kill, you know. Still, I really like to eat shite. I just love it. Yum, 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 yum. So, it's solved. And Sir Udog was acting legitimately as an agent of the Crown. Ooh, how romantic. Like James Bond he is. Really? Are we doing this? These fucking people, they're fucking mad. Ooh, ain't he handsome. I like a man with a bit of blood on his hands. Come and get some, darling. Why, why, hey? Well, that explains a lot about Barbie's situation. Let's get home and I'll whip you up a nice steaming bowl of shite. What's this? It's addressed to me, and it's fucking huge for some reason. I'm rich. He sent me $130,000 and a non-disclosure agreement to sign. Something, something, pee-pee, no mention, tiny hands, tiny dick, no books, yada yada. Standard boilerplate stuff from there on in. Why did it, babe? We're rich and gonna live the high life from now on. We'll only eat the finest shy. Mountains of it. Mountains. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be rich, you dog. Lovely, Jebley. Lovely. You dog, you're fucking amazing. You're an agent of the crown now. Yay. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, you can have all the shite you can eat. Man, it's man. Man, it's man. You were going to take me somewhere special. Not this. I had a kebab just yesterday. Oh. Shut up, you grimy kebab. That was in pairs. I like to eat shite. And I'm going to get me a shite kebab. I had hoped that $130,000 would get me something nicer than a meat sandwich from the kebab shop next to Spunky Jim's old place. Any more trouble from you and you'll end up like Spunky Jim. What happened to Spunky Jim? Easter Bunny! Hello, Barbie. What you doing here, then? Here, Arsington Lane, in the kebab shop beside Spunky Jim's, the old abandoned sex shop. I heard it was on it, you know. Exactly. What you doing here, foreigner? Just started walking here today, as a matter of fact. That's nice. Bloody foreigners coming here, making kebabs. So, Spunky Jim's, what's the story? I can see it's all boarded up and all. And what happened to Spunky Jim? Spunky Jim's was the stickiest sex shop in town, once upon a time. But the internet, see? It... it broke him. Between free porn and Jeff Bezos dropping off dildos in discreet packaging, old Spunky just couldn't compete with that. Crikey! Poor old Spunky Jim! Yeah, a lot of the small mom and pop shops went out of business. Spunky, though, he refused to sell up. Said he'd never stop coming. Never stop coming in and opening the shop. That's why I was so shocked. What happened to him? Suicide, they said. Well... Yeah, 
stopped himself by autoerotic asphyxiation. They found a giant mega dildo stuffed down his throat. Suicide, obviously. That's incredible and horrific and implausible to say the least. But asking questions around here can be bad for your health. So, what can I do for you? What would you like? I know what I like. Here we go. Jonah, everything on it? Nope. What'd you like then? I like to eat shite. One king size shite kebab, please, with extra shite and skitter sauce. Yum, yum, yum. I'm afraid that's not a real thing, sir. You're being racist. Come again, cobber. He's making improper advances. Oh, just jog the fuck on, why don't you? You mad fuck. Tell your boss I'll sue. Fuck this. I'm off. Sorry about that, love. He always gets that way when his syphilis is acting up. Never mind him. I've been trying to get you alone for ages. That didn't sound rapey at all. No, I mean just the talking stuff. I've got to go now, but how's about I meet you here tomorrow, once you close up? Well, that sounds great, me sweet sexy Sheila. Yeah, we can talk, and if you bring a few bob, you can hand stuff as well. Sound good, dearie? Shiver me dingoes, I'm in. See you tomorrow night, love, at the kebab shop beside Spunky Jim's. That was some first shift at the kebab shop next to Spunky Jim's. And I've got a date with Bob each some other night. I'll have to raid me banky if I want some hanky panky with a plastic top with moving parts who's known for being skanky. Fair income. That's not a knife. <laughs> this is a fucking knife. <laughs> It's them fucking squirrels, isn't it? The gay ones. Apparently, they come over here, and before you know it, our proper English squirrels are driven out. Aye, fucking disgraceful, so it is, man. It is, it is, it is. I can't you're the right man. Aye, the right man. For the Joe Bye, but. Joe B. Joe B. Is there a fucking echo? Sorry about him. Eh, uh, it's them breeding, but. Can he be helped? Racial purity and all that, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Billy ho That bit of business I've well, made a start already. There's a new player, a rivet. This won't be a problem, I hope. Oh, I have plans for him. Bloody furrows. Well, I could have been a brain surgeon. After your march tomorrow, it'll get sorted. Aye, the march will be great in that. Doing fucking in street, up Arsenton Lane, the route covers a hill town. Everyone in the order's gonna be there. You know, like uh, uh, me. Billy, <laughs> Billy, who? And the other guy, Billy McPotty. <laughs> fucking gay squirrels, man. Always marching in fucking wee uniforms, but and and playing with themselves, aye. Eh? Flutes mostly and, and and drums and and all that, but no, that's us. But 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 I but but. You dog. Here you comes the spunk dog. catcher general. You lot better scarber. Who are those guys, you dog? That was the Chocolate Orange Order. Sweet. What did they want? They're in the real estate game. Hey, I'll ask the questions. Where have you been? Nothing, you dog. I just took a nice walk home. It's about time we were getting you back on the game, I think. After tomorrow's march, I want you on your knees. Stuffing chocolate oranges in every orifice. And with a sense of urgency. I'll do my best, you dog. As enthusiastically as the day is long, got it? Knee pads would help, like what them skateboarders wear. Oh, I fancy a bit of shite. I wonder what's on the BBC. There's leftover shite in the fridge, if that's any help. It'll have to do. It's not right. Bloody foreigners, come in here, eating our shite. What are we doing today, you dog? You're in for a treat, matey. Best of British. Well, as British as we're going to let a bunch of fucking jocks think they can be. Still, you can't fault their sense of style. I love a boy at me. And shite, I love that too. Yum yum. Don't listen to him, handsome. He's a meanie. So, what's that racket I'm hearing? That's the march they're having. Oh, it's ever so sexy. It's got hats, gloves, sashes... General haberdashery of all sorts. I'm told that the correct haberdashery is essential for marching, 
Or it don't count, or summit. Shut up, you horse trot. Here they blooming come. March we pride, Billy. Smile at the crowd of cheering pals have got, Billy boy. Billy ho. No, Billy. No, Billy ho. Smile. Grand, innit, stupid jocks? What a jock. Oh, jocks are scum, obviously, but this particular bunch, we managed to turn them into trend-setting fashion icons. The kids love them, hence the hats and such. I see. I don't think that's quite right, you dog. I'd heard that they was dodgy, misogynistic, petty-minded bigots and racists, with hardly a brain cell between them. Oi! Yeah, yeah, shut up, slimy cum bucket, or some such shit. I've heard it all before. Cheapskate arsehole. Off to work with you now. The mort is finishing up at Arsington Lane, so get your ass over there. All right, you dog. I won't be back until late, so don't wait up. I have business. All right, you dog. I'll just nip down the old dark alley. Well, now that she's gone, I think I'll eat some shite. Have I mentioned the time the head of the local Copperfiliac Society... I was thinking of asking you along to one of our meetings. To eat shite? Heavens no! We won't waste proper high-end British shite on the likes of you. We just need someone to tidy up at the end. It can get a bit messy. What with the shite and all? I think I'll pass, Aloysius. Oi! Only me mum calls me that fucker. You ungrateful cunt. Fancy a tug, a rub, a flick, a trick, anything goes. Hey, her no mind, Billy. We are doing the Lord's work, but Dordy. Bring a friend, bring two. Bobby can take it. Yeah, I'll sort you right out. You won't march straight for a week. Two weeks if you don't use some Lubaflex 500. Don't worry, honey, I've got a great big tub. I bet you do too. Ooh, ah. Uh. Just hey, her no mind, Billy. We're nearly done. Terrence. Aye, Billy. Am I as a foot? You sure are, Bill. How come? Cos a foot's a ruler. And, and... And a ruler is a king. King me! Where's Jeremiah? Oh, oh. Ah, for fuck's sake, that slapper's got him. Better go and drag her off. Right then, who's next? Jerry! No, I've just done him, love. You wanna go? Jeremiah! What are you fucking doing? Not much. I was just giving him a gobble. You want one, lovey? Fucking get away from me, you monk at slag. He's brown. He's fucking brown on the inside. What has that dad done to him? She's made him go brown. Brown on the fucking inside. Disgusting brown and all. Billy wanna see. No, boy. That's it, it's not for you. Jerry's out. Kid do, Ken, but I... I can't hear him in the order, Ken. <gasps> Billy, no see. It's just you and me, Bill. We're all that's left. It's down to us. Monawa, I'll leave him. Brun. Fucking Brun. So that's a no on the blowjob then? Come on, Billy. Didn't he look at her? You'll turn to shite if you do. <laughs> like poor Jeremiah. I'll have one, please, miss. How lovely. Got ten bob then, do we, dearie? I've got two and three quarter bob, miss. Well, that's not really enough. What will that get me then? It'll get you a slap. I'll take it. Thank you, miss. That was great. May I have another? That'll have to do, dearie. I've got a date to get to. All right. I'll just fuck off and wank myself silly, shall I? Oh, would you, hun? Thanks. Mind and think of me now. That's free. I will, miss. I promise. Wank stay in the honest. Time for my date with Easter Bunny. I hope he's got a few bob with him. I'm feeling frisky after all that, and you dog will want me earning. Those orange fellas were rubbish. When you go down to fucking Dean Street. Crikey, what a day. I've never seen so many dicks. And I'm Australian for fuck's sake. I'll just close up. Barbie will be here any minute now. <laughs> All righty then. Fuck! 
Fuck me! A ghost? You must be Spunky Jim. A ghost. Oh, fuck! Stay from here! What does he want with me? Go back to where you came from. Go back to Australia! Australia! The ghost of Spunky Jim wants me to go back to Australia. I don't get it. What's it doing where I am? How does he even know me? Why would he give a fuck? Leave now or suffer the curse of the evil porcupine. Is that the kind of threat I'd expect from a ghost? Don't make me come over there and... And what, you dog? You dog! For fuck's sake! These fucking crazy bastards! What the hell's going on here? Oh, you dog! Aloysius Tiny Dick Unionist Dog! The jig's up, love. Come on out. You're just embarrassing yourself. We all know it's you. Ah, oh, fuck this. I'm off home to number 12. Oh, I need some shite. I just nip out the back. I'd have gotten away with it too, if it hadn't been for those pesky kids. What's he on about? Don't feel too bad, you dog. It was really scary. At least suck off the rabbit for a few bob, will ya? Let's not have the evening be a complete waste of time. Oh, fuck me. What just happened? Well, it's pretty obvious, really. Plus, that Jeremiah fellow was going on about it while I was sucking him off. Spit it out, then. Too late. I swallowed. Spank the fucking wallaby. For fuck's sake, Barbie. It's the order. They want to buy up all the property on Arsington Lane. Dicky Motors, Spunky Jim's, the kebab shop next to Spunky Jim's. Apparently, they want to gentrify the area. Open something called a Man Bun Emporium where Spunkies is. Fucking monstrous. Plus a self-service anal bleaching station instead of the kebab shop next to Spunky Jim's. I quite like that one. Arse is a fire. Christ. Oh, and turn Dickie Motors into something called an horological labradoodle sanctuary. A horological labradoodle sanctuary, you say? Yeah. What the actual fuck is that? Who knows, dearie? It's all beyond me. What about that tiny dick unionist dog? How does he even fit in all this? He's in on it somehow. It was probably him that offed poor old Spunky Jim. Suicide my ass crack, Bunny. You people are monsters. If you want to know more about it, well, I'd suggest you speak to that nice young man who works at Dicky Motors. He'd know all about it. They'd be after him as well. Fancy a gobble, then? Half price. Oh, fuck it. All right, then. Waltz in Matilda. Waltz in Matilda. I'm going to this day. Half price as well. Spank the fucking wallaby. Fuck me sideways. Oh, boy. God, I think I'm fucking spent. But by the way, oh, what's his name? Inigo. Inigo Montoya. Nice fella. Billy Ho. No, no Billy Ho. Where are they going, Mr. U Dog? I have become despondent at recent events and have conveniently decided to fuck off. One of them has a statue of Kermit the Frog at the bottom of his garden. And they've got to have sex with it. Really, sir? How do they manage? Oh, I think they just rub up against it. And it's sir, you dog, if you don't mind, young master. I heard you were a great debater at school. Is that true, young sir? Oh, yes. It was very popular. We were all at it. I mean, obviously, it took a lot of practice. And you would really need to stick out a lot to have any hope of being invited onto one of the teams. That must have been very exciting, sir. I was somewhat of a star. Renowned for my debating prowess and my outstanding, er, uh, wand control. Indeed. As the three-time all-school debating champion, I was, of course, captain of the top debating team. Oh, how we practiced together, constantly lending each other a helping hand. Night and day, we never stopped debating. En masse or one at a time, we just kept on going. Sure, we had our ups and downs, but in the end, it was all worth it. We were lucky to have you, no doubt. We even qualified to represent our school in the Great British Mass Debating Competition, or, as it's more colloquially known, the Mass Debate. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, 
I'm a master bitter. And we got there in the end. Now, what brings you down here? I'd heard tell of a magic blue bean that makes your willy ever so hard. Oh, I may know a fella. Walk this way. On all fours? You're not free. And you are just a dog, so don't push your luck. Hand over the magic blue boner beans, Grandad. Just give me a minute to figure out where Barbie's hid them. Where is Barbie, come to think of it? How would I know? She didn't even go home last night. Oh, here we go. Half a dozen, do ya? Oh, me head. Oh, it's throbbing. And me minge. It's... Well, it's all right, actually. Thank you, Lubaflex 500. Oh, what... <sighs> What is this? I've got to get out of here. It's all cramped. Oh, oh there's some light. I guess. I'll go that way. Oh, wow. Well, no, this ain't right. No, this ain't right at all. There's just something off about it. The scale, maybe. Maybe it's the scale. They say size doesn't matter. Well, I guess I'm going to find out. Maybe I should take a look about. Carefully, like. Eek! Hello, dear. Shh, monster. I and it be fine. Don't you be worried about it. You're joking, right? Did you see that thing? It was huge. Yeah, sure. But if you get to be spotted, you just has to freeze. And it leaves you alone in a bit. Works like a charm here, I can promise you that. Really? That's never been my experience, love. Who are you? What's going on? Where are we? What are you doing here? Why is this happening? Would you like the long version or the short one? I'll take all you've got, dearie. Well, it all be like this. Me name be Nathaniel Eldritch Casablanca de Beethoven, and I will tell you now how I came to be in this land, populated as it is by the giants and all. It's some story, I be telling you. I do get the feeling you're alluding to something, love. But I'm told I'm a bit dim. Sucking and stuffing, that's my thing. Best I stick to that. You couldn't point me in the direction of Fuckington Street, could you? I heard the giants talk of it. Never do be seen it myself, though. One day I hope to visit with the ten bob clutched in my hand, eh? Tell me now, is it as beautiful as I've heard? Oh, it is, Nathaniel. It's... it's... It's home. The only home I've ever known, actually. I was found abandoned in a shoebox outside the kebab shop next to Spunky Jim's in Arsington Lane, see? So I'm told. Well, that's what you, dog, told me. He kind of looks after me, I suppose. Then make your way past the big brown door. And good luck to you, miss. Where did he go? <laughs> right then. My odyssey begins, lovies. Oh my god, look at the size of that! <laughs> Better scarper! Hey, bunny! G'day, Zachariah. What brings you down here? Just getting my bicycle fixed. Gotta do your bit for the environment. Fair dinkum. More power to you, mate. At least you're giving it a right go. We do what we can, don't we? I'm here to see a man about a dog and some other stuff. You mean that you dog fellow, don't you? As we say back on my home planet, <coughs> that arsewit is an absolute meringue. Indeed he is, matey. Murder, betrayal, property development. There's some bad stuff here. I just don't know how it all fits together. It's like a platter puts on a pogo stick. It don't make no sense. Unless... That sounds like the stuff of intrigue. And I don't think I want to be involved in any of that. I'm off for a cycling holiday in the Cotswolds. Are you sure that's appropriate? You know, virus-wise? If a tiny Tory wankstain, whose name is literally another way to say cock juice, can do what he fucking likes, then why shouldn't... I. That fucking Dominic Spunkley. He's a modern Rasputin, he is. A complete cunt. He'd happily kill your granny just to sell his mate's tickets to bang a corpse. Exactly. And I know that deep down you're better than that. A better man than him by far.
Even if you're a pretend alien, hybrid, giraffe, sock puppet with someone's hand up your ass. You're right, though. The Cotswolds will still be there next week or next month or whenever. Tell an eagle he can have my bike. I'm off to catalogue my priceless collection of 13th century Mongolians. Bye for now. Bye. It don't make no sense. I am a Nego Montoya. I have repaired your bicycle. Prepare to pay. Sorry, champ. I'm Australian. Have a fucking IQ. This bike ain't mine. It was no longer needed. Zek left it for you. Get that up, you, you old cockwomble. <laughs> I am a Nego Montoya. I was mistaken. I apologize. I've crawled out the old billabong and shanked the old ponies just to speak to you about some dodgy goings on. I am a Nego Montoya. There are dodgy goings on. We should talk. Right. You can fucking cut it out right now. Okay. The fucking talking funny. I'm not fucking stupid, mate. You're taking a piss, matey. I am a Nego Montoya. And I am high as fuck right now. Sorry. For being weird. It's all right, Mary. We're all feeling this strain. These are trying times. I know there. I go. Sorry about that, Cobber. I had a lot of sushi last night, if you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Boost Tucker. I had fish on Friday. Okay. For the love of any Sheila, I was neck deep in Barbie's magical minge. Ah, Princess Barbie. She is a very kind and beautiful, though. That she is, chum. Where is she now? I don't know. Last thing I remember was a big tub of Luberflex 500 coming out. And Bobby's saying, we should sniff it. You should not sniff it. I realise that now. Now that I woke up in the gutter. Bobby's gone missing. And me wallaby skin wallet. The one me dear old mum made for me. I am sure Her Royal Highness Princess Apocalyptica Barbieri Sex Coberg de Gothica von Trapp would not demean herself to steal your wallet. You what, Princess Barbarella Cock Gobbler von Tart or something? See, si. I think you dog killed Spunky Jim, and that he's working for the Chocolate Orange Order. See, si. at the behest of MI5. He definitely was in on killing Jeffrey Epstein for the second time. And I think he was involved with the Lizard Queen's plan to murder your boy Alejandro for a Templar reward. This means a war. Oh, yeah. Alejandro is dead. He shall be avenged. I know you guys were close. I am a Nego Montoya. They must die. You're going to need some help, chum. And I've just the guy in mind. Comes with his own armoured vehicle and everything. Ooh. Who is it? You know who it is. You live in a different world. Oh my god! This, all these people, they're just so huge! Over here! Oh, hiya! I'm Barbie! I know this. How come you be trailing all around here? That other guy said that I should go through the big brown door. Who? Nathaniel? You seen him? Rasclad fool he is, with his disappearing act. That's right, he just vanished whilst I was chatting with him. That's his thing, see? He's all eye and eye with you and then ting, he's gone. He's about as much use as yesterday's bong water. I'm just trying to get back to Fuckington Street. Have you ever heard of it? Fuckington Street now, all kinds of Babylon be there, I hear me brother say. Ten bobby teas for all the nasty sort of thing. Oh, that sounds about right, dearie. I miss it so. I'm just, I'm just so scared. Please, please can you help me? <laughs> no, woman, no cry. Let me climb up this and I set you right. Rastaman Julius won't do you no wrong. Oh, I'll try. Wait, what, what was your name again, love? They call me Rastaman Julius. All right, here we go. Climb up on my back. <laughs> I usually charge ten bob for stuff like that. <coughs> oh, come on. <coughs> come on, dearie. Nearly there. That's it. 
The time of a thousand jobbies was man. upon them. And lo, did the people rejoice, for the jobbies flowed free across the land. And there was singing, and much merriment. Ah. Hello, what are you doing here, Harvey? And Rasta player? Ha! Huh. Muppets. They are good everywhere. In this house. I wonder what's next for you guys. Hello, hi. Shite. Rastlat. Yes, the Star Wars guy. Yes. Yeah. Well, come with me, Julius. Come on down to Fuckington Street. You never do know just who you'll meet. You know, when you go down to Fuckington Street, there's a whole song about it. Are you be telling me you'll have no grief in there? No more troubles for the Rasta man, Julius, now? Oh yeah, dearie. You'll be fine. I have lots of friends. Some of them are regulars. Come on, let's jump. Whee! There he is. Get him. What the fuck? Hands off the fucking bunny. Restrain him. G'day, arsehole. He's a dangerous minority. I mean, criminal minority. I, I mean, dangerous criminal. There you go, fucking minority. Hey, your pet dildo here is getting all handsy. I'll diddlo you. I mean, I mean dildo. Too late, mate. I demand to be diddloed. <laughs> you won't be laughing in a minute. How come? Are you going to diddle me as well? <laughs> we know you did it. I just have to look at you. And I know you did it, didn't you? Did what, you mad cunt? You can tell Captain Arsband it here to get his fucking hands off me before I rip his fucking arm off. Fucking lazy little cunt. A one-armed arsband it is no use to me. Inspector Sergeant Netsy, unhand him. But stay nearby. He's probably killed Miss Bobby, and there's no telling what else he might try. No, no, no. No fucking way. Where is she? What have you done? I'm innocent, you bastards. You're Australian, ain't ya? And you were seen with her last night. That's good enough for me. This is a fit-up. Where's Bobby? I'm sure we can provide witness testimony from A to Z. Or at least round up some ambitious and unscrupulous fucking whores to tell a few parkies, if that's easier. You can't get away with this. There's laws. There's courts. What about habeas corpus? We make the fucking laws. And we all know the courts of England. You're fucked, chum, because we say you're fucked. But I'm Australian. So is Julian Assange. And we are slowly murdering him right in front of you. Boo-hoo. What you going to do, eh? You can bleed. So you can be killed, and one day, school children will come to the park where your forgotten bones are buried, and they will sing and play, and they will have not one single thought for you. Pretty words from your pretty mouth. The boys down the scrubs will love you. Hi there, humans. Thank fuck, Zack. Help me out, mate. You'd best stay out of it, or you'll be next. My studies of your planet suggest otherwise. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Zack, Mighty, chum. You can't have him. We want to have a lynching, and a lynching we are going to have. I don't think so, you dog. Best not to fuck with psychedelic aliens. You don't know what's coming for you, Mighty. Oh, yeah. What's that? But boy Slim. More than you could handle anyway, dingo fucker. I'd appeal to old Queenie. Her Majesty will know how to deal with you. I'll get her on the blower. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the greatest cum guzzler of them all? It used to be you, but now there is another. Your great granddaughter, Princess Apocalyptica. The prophecy must not be fulfilled. 
I sent that little trollop out to die as a baby. And now she will topple me from my throne. I am and will always be the greatest cum guzzler of all time. Afraid not, my queen. It's true. No one has guzzled more cum than you. But Barbie is better at it. While she yet lives, you are doomed. You, dog, were supposed to take care of it. I said destitution, not prostitution. I'll have to call my guy again and get her a lift through a tunnel. The quantity of cock juice is not strained, and it is as plentiful as Bombay's at a palace party. Thank you, Mirror. Charles does enjoy a good Bomboy. And, like him, I too enjoy a good ass assignation. <coughs> ah, so you, dog. What kind of fucking good news have you got for me? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, I see. She still doesn't know. Good, good. So you told her crack whore from up the street was her granny. And now she is a tiny cum guzzling prodigy. That is a concern. Alien worm thing. Easter fucking bunny. Right, fuck this shit. I'm going to get Uncle Adolf and that creepy little wizard kid as well. Oh, yes, and also Dominic Spunkly. He can bring a load of plebs, and we can sacrifice a lot of them to our Dark Lord Satan. Oh, yes, they are dumb as fuck. Stall for time until I get there. Bye. Bye. Well. That sort of den. She said, wait till she gets here, with Dominic Spunkly and the plebs. Or it might have been, sting those fuckers up now. Can't remember which. Fuck! But also, and I can't stress this enough, fuck! I feel I ought to remind all of you that I am a superior form of life, and that I possess such psychic powers as to turn your tiny minds to strawberry blancmange. Just saying... Just you wait till Her Majesty gets here. She'll know what to do. How come? Cause her farts smell like rainbows. That's how come. Bless her. Are you going on about the Queen again, you dog? Well, I never. If it isn't her tiny cum guzzling ladyship herself. Come to grace us with her presence. You would not believe what just happened to me. Seriously. Barbie, darling, you're okay. Told you, cunts. Fucking innocent. Bunny! Oh, hiya, love. What a night, eh, lover? Oh, Barbie. I've missed you. There's something you need to know. Don't consider yourself off the hook, Mr Bunny. If that's even your real name. Fuck me. She's right there. I haven't killed anyone. You're just an evil lying cunt. That's why it pays me the big bucks, rabbit. Hello there, everyone. Hello, tiny humanoid. Oh, for fuck. More immigrants. It's a tidal wave of human flesh. There was that thing on Star Trek that one time. Kind of sticks with you. Makes you think, you know. Like, like I could have been a brain surgeon. G'day, mate. Don't listen to that, Ponce. He's one of those post-imperial fantasists. Hiya, love. I've had such a time getting back here. You wouldn't believe. Barbie, I should have called you Princess Apocalyptica. I need to tell you something, darling. Something that'll change your niggas. Well, it's funny you should say that. I and I want to get off on the right feet with everyone now. My name be Julius. Julius Rastaman. Julius Rastaman Rastapleb. Julius to my friends, though. Who the cunting berry mellow? Does this only the crumbliest, flakiest kidneys think he fucking is? It's a fucking outrage, I tell ya. Look, darling, the short version is you are basically Snow White. You're not safe here. I think, I think I love you, darling. Let's run away from all this madness. Well, I always had these funny dreams. Now I know. I'm a princess, spirited away by an evil great granny. That makes sense. So, you'll come away with me to build a new life? A new life away from this madness? A new life in Brisbane? 
Right then, you squeaky little monkeys. It's time I sorted you fucks out. Let's get this party started, motherfuckers. Mr. Potter, do your duty. Yes. Oh, yes, your majesty. Uh, what would that be exactly? The whore must die. I command you to kill her immediately. Kill the bitch. Fuck her corpse. That'll teach her. Do I have to? It's either that or the bumming pits of Eton for you. Yes. He's sunny. How's a call for a miser boy, sir? Did you take Massa Bambi from the bee? My boy, my Alejandro, my son, my beautiful Bambolini, as I kill you from Massa Bambolini. No oh, fuck, Spunkway's been blown to bits. The place is dripping with him. Excuse me now, Rastaman Julius just won a chill. No do the killing for all the Babylons. Pass the Gucci on the left hand side, you know. Then you are in the wrong place, my friend. For today, my blade will drink a thousand swords. Send in the sacrificial preps. Right, sir. He's the charge you, who's a brave you, Brigadi. What are you gonna do? My name is a Negum on top, and my son shall drink your soul. I can handle them. Mr. Potter, fuck that worm. Fuck him right fucking now, or I'll murder what's left of your fucking family. Hail fucking Satan. Yes, ma'am. Spazaramus, testiculon, and Nunziata. Plagero, Cantio, Heinzebun Canis, Spaghetti Focus, Liparama! He's a witchcrafter! Master witchcrafter! What are we gonna do then? Peace, man! Rasta Plev, don't want to be fun! Next, we take another one! You see! I swear he will be avenged! Want you to avenge your father or your banter? Bastardo! Pero de mierda! I kill you! No, you illegal! He's a master of the baby! And what's he gonna do? He has a wizard in four! Five and in five! He's a gonna fuck you with the user and the mizzy! Father, he gonna do the quacks! I will kill the dirty, stinking dog! Kill him! What do you think, Uncle Adolf? Another magical attack with the boy wizard? Jack, the boy wizard! If only I had had a dozen like him back in the old days. Come to meet the Maisie, the fuse the wild leaves, okay? Come to know, we've got to go. Come on, Barbie, let's go refugee. Minge! What now, ma'am? Take that smelly little wizard waif and chase them down, Sir you dog No one is to be spared. Especially Princess Apocalyptica. The tiny cum guzzling whore must die. Finally. By your command. Come on then, little masturbator. You've got some proper British work to do. I could really go for a nice bit of shite about now. I don't want to hurt anyone, sir. You do as you're told, or else. Yeah, murder my family and send me to the bombing pits of Eton. I went there once, you know. Day trip, guided tour. It was a lovely day out. As long as you're the one doing the bubbing, and not the one in the pit. Come with me, Uncle Adolf. I know where we can get a stunning view of the action. Jawohl, meine tolle Scheiße, für das Gesicht einer Nichte. You'll be able to smell the death. Simply delightful. I do enjoy a good bloodbath. And bathing in blood, obviously. I will give mine friend, the demon Shogarogoth, a call, ja? He would enjoy this. Very well, but tell him he can't borrow any more of my special butt plugs. They always taste funny after he's had them. They're good. Come on then, Harry, let's be having you. I just want to go home and have a wank. There will be plenty of time and corpses to wank over when we are done. 
It's the British way. Always has been, always will. Come on. We're going to have to fight so them, hear you. Do we have to, mate? Can't we just run away from them? Have I mentioned I'm Australian? There's a killer, a mother bumbling, mother Alejandro. He shall be avenged. I'm a princess. How about that? Yes, my father, God rest his soul. He told me of this. He knew many secrets. For this they killed him. He shall be... Yeah, avenged, love. But, princess, standing right here, you can catch me outside. Outside, outside. Catch me outside. How about that? You all right, love? Yoo-hoo! Plebs! Little people! He's here! The bastard Lini I will kill them all! Kill and kill and kill! I don't think so, pleasant fucker. You can't reach us. But, mein Damen und Herren, we can reach you, ja? As a film, as a bigger, bigger guns at the lenses. He's an over. As a can the get you. Oopsie, hi, look. He's a no go. Delightful. Mr. Rogoth, may I offer you a biscuit while we wait for our chaps to arrive? That's very considerate of you. Do you have any of your special butt plugs with you? I've developed quite the taste for them, you know. Just biscuits for you, you rascal. Uncle Adolf, biscuits. Then how about some proper digestives then? You know the nice ones. We're not allowed to have them at work. Rules, you know. What with it being hell and all. It would be my pleasure, Mr. Rogoth. And may I say, hail Satan. Hail Satan. Love that guy. As I hit to them, we are sitting at Doxa, tell to you. We die with honor. <clears throat> uh, alternative suggestion here? How about we all leg it back to Brisbane? Yeah. What? What was that? Yeah, I'll come away with you to Brisbane. Oh, Barbara, you've made me the happiest bunny in the world. Here's the there's a kumza. Here's a you do you. These are the tiny dicks. And also the boys who was the the as a by the bollies. And also the kumza, the plebeus. Oh, the plebeus. Plebeus and the plebeus. These are going to die. Today, I will kiss the blood red lips of Lady Destiny. And there will be tongue. I knew a girl called Destiny once. She was from Croydon, I think. Hello there, you degenerate scum. Time for some best of British. Boy, Saint Nigel. Killing gets me horny, all right. Today, I'm going to fuck a corpse. And then I'm going to eat some shy. Best day ever. I kill you. I kill you. You bastardo. You eat shit. That I do, matey. And I love it. Mr. Potter, are you ready to serve your queen and country? Yes, sir. Would the sacrificial plebs please step forward and prepare to do your duty? Oh, yes, sir. 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 Oh, yes, s
My old pal Jimmy could have fixed this, but he's gone to the big children's hospital in the sky. Fix this for us, so you dog, and there's a key to the kiddies hospital in it for you. I may just be a shitty ding tiny dick unionist dog with no moral centre and an anal fixation, but there's no need to compare me to that cunt. No offence ma'am, but I do in fact have a plan. I've just realised that I'm late for my Pilates class, so got to run. Bye. I can do it your majesty. I can transform myself into a giant egg made from high explosives. Once I'm in, I'll detonate. They're good, meine Kinder. Meine kleine Kinder. Uh, yes, that was the plan. Transform a tantus igolo! Bigger banger boongo! Muffled turnip! Bucket magic! Eggs for my bird! Eggs for my bird! Oh, oh. oh my goodness! The gross ninja damen is kaput! We will be avenged, and my name is not Inego J. Montoya. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, and this, and these as well. God save the Queen, 1966, isn't it? 1966. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Take that. Jack and Indiving. God save the Queen. And this, and these as well. 1966, isn't it? 1966. Yeah. Now's our chance, Bunny! While they're all fighting, this is our moment! Do you trust me, love? Oh, Bunny, I do! With all my heart! Then let's do it. Let's run for love. Oh, you're such a poet! Madre de Dios! I am hit! I will kill you! Though I never see it coming. Speaking of which... I don't fucking think so, darling. No! Barbie! He's killed her! Bastard's fucking killed her! Nice. Fuck you, shit-eating dog. We are avenged. I am undone, and thus retire. It may yet be I shall expire. If... If... If I can have just one more bit of shite. It's amazing how poetic they get sometimes, when they're dying. Lovely. Still, I think we'd best be off. We got what we came for, and a bunch of nobodies died doing it. I call that a good day, meine kleine Scheiße nicht. Let's blow this shit party and go fuck some donkeys. Oh, Barbie, we were always meant to be. But not, not like this. Oh, my Barbie girl. My love. My angel. <laughs> oh, the man. I give the user the thoughts and I praise you. Now she goes up to the heavens. She's a good Zikafalo Frolics. Like a mother bambini, Alejandro. Oh, fuck that shit. She's dead. Even her magic minions can't bring her back from death. I am Inigo Montoya. And I can bring her back with my magical penis horn. You what, Mighty? You look injured. I am mortally wounded. But before I die, I can give my magical unicorn life force to another. How can you do that? You must stand back. Stay out of the splash zone. The horn of a unicorn is always a magical penis. Here I come. Fuck me. I am a Nego J. Montoya. I am a magical unicorn. My magical penis horn will fuck you back to life. Give her one, Mary. I believe in you, chap. Ah, oh, this takes me the thoughts and a priori. I was gonna please the poor Oh, 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 oh. Ten bob, dearie. My work here is done. Goodbye, my friends. <sighs> this is why I always get the money up front. Bobby, darling, you were dead. Inigo fucked you back to life. 
Oh, I feel bad now, asking him for money. He had died for your sins and has brought you the back with his magical panizio. Let's at least give him a proper burial, mate. He deserves that much from us. What about that funny looking cave over there? Yes, that's a do's and nice you. Nice secure you for the him. Bye, Chum. Thanks for everything, Cobra. Yeah, cheers for shagging me back from the dead, love. and all the who's the seals he needs. Let's run away, darling. Let's go to Brisbane. Take me there, Bunny, and take me hard. I'll give you 50% off. How's that? That's a fucking bargain. Let's go. Did I mention I'm Australian? Oh, Bunny, you never stop. As a sad you. Alejandro has a da, and Nego has a da. The plebeos, there's a da's and there's a da's. He's a making me the sad you for sure. And now, as I go to home, I find me the cutes of vegetable, and we some mix on news of Alejandro. Thank you.